Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're taking a look today at the new HP Stream 11. This is a 2015 refresh of a product that I liked quite a bit last year, although the performance on this one, especially in Minecraft, is not as good. Now, if you're not familiar with the Stream series, these are sub $200 computers running the full version of Windows 10, and it runs uh, pretty well on here, actually. So you've got an 11.6 inch display, 1366 by 768, anti-glare, so it's not a very reflective screen, and the viewing angles on it are pretty decent. 2.6 pounds overall, so very lightweight, a decent battery life of about eight to 10 hours. You get a little bit more battery life than last year uh, because they have a new Intel Celeron processor, a 3050 at 1.6 gigahertz, uh, two gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage. So uh, pretty much configured where last year's was, but the new Intel chip on here uh, runs at a lower clock speed. So it's 1.6 gigahertz versus two and change from last year, but uh, they've made efficiencies in the processor to make it perform uh, close to last year's with less power consumption. So you get about eight to 10 hours of battery life on it. I love the keyboard on these Stream 11s. This is pretty much the same keyboard as last year's model. Uh, really nice to type on. The keys are well spaced apart. It is probably the best sub $200 keyboard out there. Uh, it's a real pleasure to use that. Uh, the trackpad's a little spongy as it was last year. It's not perfect, but uh, certainly as good as any other trackpad I've seen on a cheap computer. So that works pretty well. And they've made a couple of changes to the ports on the device too, including some faster USB ports. Now on this side, you still have the USB 2.0 port, uh, the headset microphone, phone adapter as well as a, a Kensington lock here to lock it down onto a desk for theft prevention. On the other side though you now get a USB 3.0 port so you get a little bit faster USB speeds out of there and they changed the larger uh, micro, uh, SD card slot to a micro SD card slot so it's a smaller card it still uh, sits flush to the side of the computer so you can augment its limited 32 gigabytes of storage with uh, some memory card storage. You can go up to 128 gigabytes if you wish uh, so you can store quite a bit on there although that card is going to be slower than the internal storage will be. Uh, HDMI here for plugging in an external display and of course your power adapter there. So those are uh, the overall hardware specs. Uh, let's take a look though at the performance. So things like word processing do very well on here. Uh, it's also a decent web browsing device also. You can look at YouTube and uh, do all the things you might want to do online with online video services quite well. What's interesting is on the Octane benchmark test we got a score of 7,266 which puts it actually below uh, where last year's performance was but it's really not not something that's all that noticeable to me when I'm using it. So it does, again, perform a little less than last year's in many areas, but uh, for many tasks, it's not all that noticeable. But uh, when you get into gaming performance, it does get to be pretty noticeable. So let's take a look at Minecraft and see what some of the issues are there. Now, a couple weeks ago, we looked at the Acer Cloudbook, which is running the very same processor as this HP, that Intel 3050, and we have uh, pretty much the same exact problem we have with that Acer, where we get a really good frame rate for a second or two, and then it just drops down uh, very quickly to this laggy you know, kind of performance that you're seeing right here. And this is not the kind of performance we usually get on a sub $200 computer. Usually we see frame rates in the 20 to 30 frames per second territory or better. Uh, on this one, we're getting far less than that, uh, very similar to what we saw on that Acer. And I am running with the Optifine plugin, which I always put on these low-end devices because it really does speed up Minecraft quite a a bit, uh, but in this case, it doesn't seem to be doing uh, much good for us, although uh, not running it on here gives you even worse performance than this. So I think this is an area that there's just something going on with the drivers on these that uh, is creating these kinds of issues with the Java version of Minecraft. And, and these 3050 chips on these sub $200 computers are the only ones that are really having trouble at the moment. I do want to show you though the Windows 10 version of Minecraft, which does run a little bit better. So the Windows 10 version of Minecraft does run a lot smoother than uh, the Java version does, but we're still seeing a lot of lag here as I'm moving around the world. And occasionally it freezes up on me completely and just stops for five or 10 seconds too. So uh, yeah, there it goes right here. Uh, so these are the same sorts of problems we saw on that Acer Cloud book again with that same Intel processor. And I think I'm still waiting for it to give me control back here again. I think we're gonna just need to see a driver update happen or something because right now this is just not a good Minecraft experience. And if you are uh, shopping for someone who plays a lot of Minecraft on their computer, this is probably not uh, the best sub $200 computer for them. Many of the others that we've looked at here on the channel are, uh, so definitely check out my other reviews to see what else is out there because uh, even computers from last year or two years ago seem to be working with Minecraft better than this 2015 version does. And again, I think it's something to do uh, with the drivers. So I'm gonna recommend this one for the basics, web browsing, email, word processing, uh, not so much for gaming at the moment because 
although we'll never run a high-end game on these devices, uh, the lower-end games like Minecraft have run pretty well, and they're just not running well on here at all. So that is the HP Stream 11 for 2015. Uh, still great hardware, still a nice fanless design, but uh, we're seeing some issues with Minecraft performance that I hope will get worked out eventually, and if they do, I'll do a follow-up video to let you know. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the generosity of my Patreon supporters. If you find the channel helpful, you too can contribute for as little as a dollar a month. Visit lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more.